spend a lot of time looking looking at the grass looking a long distance away looking in trees looking today for mushrooms you know you guys are always asking me about more videos and getting out and doing things well this is one of the things i love to do i love going hunting for mushrooms now there's a variety of different kinds of mushrooms wild mushrooms that are good for you good to eat that you can find anywhere that you live you just gotta do your research and get out and look now the mushroom i'm looking for today is called chanterelle mushrooms which are a bright yellowish orange mushroom that grow on the tree on the ground and uh very good if you break them open they kind of have a apricot smell they kind of have a, a peppery taste and uh yeah anyway i am off into the woods on a kind of a dreary wet day a little bit of rain falling i got a bucket some water and uh we're ready to hunt it's about a mile mile and a half walk into where i want to go but in no time we'll be on mushrooms stick around it's uh gonna be a pretty woodsy video and uh, I hope to teach you a little bit about mushrooms and uh, mushroom hunting, at least about what I know. I'm no professional and I'm no expert. You shouldn't take my advice about mushrooms. You should do your own research. And uh, yeah, anyway, let's go mushroom hunting. Oh yeah. Just found that baby. A little cut try to cut the mushrooms off i don't want to rip them out of the ground i want the base to stay there and grow more mushroom that folks that is a chanterelle mushroom got one here there 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 oh yeah this is real here there's some more here here I can see some across the way they're growing and all the way up in there oh yeah now now we're into the mushrooms another nice spot guys look at them out right here there's some there spots there and all these little spots Take a little bit of a walk. Ooh, look at this. I'll try not to get too many leaves in here because I gotta clean these out later on and less leaves the better. Alright, let's go looking more. There's a couple. We're gonna let them grow. There's a couple. These are good enough to pick. Just a walk in the woods. Yeah, what you don't see me is me moving my head back and forth swinging looking looking for any color on the ground at all I'm trying to find the elusive chanterelle mushrooms there's some a little bob wire from the old farmland we're around here not the best but it's a little hard to film and pick mushrooms but anyway let's go find some more oh yeah here we go here we go got those that one got some hiding there got some there got some there those got some hiding here underneath the dirt 
one even there, one there. Here. see a lot more I'll be right back I'm I'm not even joking when I tell you I've only been hunting these mushrooms now for 10 minutes I've already got a half a bucket half a bucket and uh, I can tell you that here and here and here there's some here there 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 there, there, hold on, there's more, we're not looking for those, let's go back over this way, I'm just going to leave my bucket over there, let's take a little walk through the woods, chanterelle mushrooms, some people call them chants, C-H-A-N-T-S, other people call them chanterelle, but they can be pretty big and pretty nice. Pretty tasty and very plentiful. And just walking around, I can see more there, there, here. Look at them over here. There's some down here. Look at that big one there. You guys see them? You need to get closer. I mean, I can see clear out that way. I see him way over back that way. Yeah. <laughs> this is a problem that we run into sometimes. It's an easy problem. I brought a mesh bag. I'm gonna fill the mesh bag as much as I can possibly put in. And then I'm gonna ditch the mesh bag and keep walking in with my bucket. And with any luck, we'll fill the bucket, walk back, get the bag, and we'll be on a merry way. But Let's just take another, ooh, look at this. Look at that one. Now this is not any good anymore, but this was a lobster mushroom. A lobster mushroom is a mushroom, it's a fungus actually, that takes, off, takes over another mushroom. And uh, yeah, that would have been good if it was fresh. But these will be very good because they are fresh, and there's a lot of them. And more, and more, look at them over here. Yeah, it's gonna be a great day for a video if you're a mushroom hunter. Oh man, they are everywhere. I'm going to have to fill up my bucket and my bags and run them back to the car and come up for more. My God, they're everywhere. Look at them. Look at them. Over there. They're over there. You can see them. Can you guys see them? You guys see them? I can even see them far away from here. This is the area I just cleaned up, but... <laughs> you know... Another thing is, I'm not going to tell you where I am. Many people probably know where I am. I don't care. There's more than enough mushrooms for all of us. I guess, you know, if you don't get out here early, you just lose out. Let's, let's pick some mushrooms. <laughs> That's got to be at least... It's got to be at least 10 pounds of mushrooms right there. I'm talking quietly now because I don't want somebody hearing me. Anyway, I'm leaving these in the woods because I'm going to go fill my bucket up next. Come back, dump my bucket back into the bag, fill the bucket up one more time, and then carry 30, 40 pounds out of here. Because at $8 a pound, well, 
I'll let you do the math, but it's well worth it right now for me to start picking these uh, to sell because I'm not going to eat them all. And somewhere across the UP of Michigan, in northern Wisconsin, there's a bunch of people that would love to eat these special chanterelle mushrooms. So anyway, keep watching along. I'm going to take a walk deeper into the woods and we're going to find some more mushrooms. Maybe some more lobsters too. I already found a nice one here that uh, is very edible. So stick around guys. There's more to come. Wow. So I just dumped off my bag as you saw. And I now have my bucket. Where is it? There it is right there. There's my bucket. Right in the middle of a big patch. Now I've got some there. Here. If you look past my finger, there's some up there. There's some down here. Down there. You can see all the ones right there. There. You see some back in there. Here, here, here. Let's take another little walk here. You see them there. And there's some over there. Yeah, there's some in the grass here. Here. Well, that big one. Here. Here. Over there. Over there. Look at all the mushrooms. Oh man, you know, I kind of thought I was gonna score good, but I didn't think I was gonna score this good. Wow, gonna make some good money today. Also gonna have to get some steaks tonight and cook out and uh, pack the freezer too, cause wow, look at all the mushrooms. Oh yeah. Give you a little view of chanterelle mushrooms. Underneath, you can see the the gills kind of run in lines from the edge, which is curved under, but they run in, in right underneath there. And there's all kinds of different ones. I mean, they come in all different shapes. The stems aren't good on that one, but lots and lots of mushrooms. You know, Again, you can eat these mushrooms, you can give these mushrooms away, you can sell these mushrooms to somebody that is qualified or certified to buy them. You cannot sell them in the state of Michigan to just anybody. You have to sell them to somebody certified, they have to actually certify them themselves, and then they can turn around and sell them to restaurants or individuals at farmers markets. But most people don't realize, they don't even know selling mushrooms in the state of Michigan without being licensed or certified is illegal. So it's not illegal to pick them. It's not illegal, illegal to eat them. And, uh, you know, you could, uh, you could pickle them. You could fry them up. You could dehydrate them. You could use them in soups. There's, there's all sorts of things to use these mushrooms for. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell these to uh, somebody that's certified. They're going to resell them. And uh, some of these I'm actually going to cook. And uh, again, you know, let's take a quick little walk here. The general rule that I like to use is looking for oaks on slopes. If you can find oaks on slopes in a real moist area, then you can probably find chanterelle mushrooms. Just like that. Let's walk around some more spots here. You saw all the mushrooms I have there. I'm, uh, I'm about ready to walk out of here, but... I'm going to do one quick last little peek through, see, and ooh, here's some more. That's a nice one. Oh, Lord, we're, we're not done yet. We, we're going to have to come back here. Let me put these right here, because they're there. There. I can see some right there. I've got to go see those. Let's go see those. There's a couple more there. I think I can fit a couple more in my bag. What do you think? Oh yeah, look at these. That's what I saw way up there. Nice mushroom, nice hardy mushroom. 
Ooh, that one's all mushy. Sometimes when they have slugs on them, you just push the slugs off, you know. Got to do what you got to do. But anyway, let's get the rest of these mushrooms, and I will show you all I got. How you guys doing? Got me some mushrooms. You know, I could make that funny video where I walk by and then suddenly see me walking by, pull up the camera. That's not me. I don't do those type of vlogs, but I do mushroom vlogging. I love railroads. I love catching panhandlers, of course. I love all of different variety of things and if you've made it this far into this video man hit the subscribe button make sure to click the little bell of course give me a thumbs up make a comment below what do you think about mushroom hunting what's your favorite kind of mushroom to hunt for what's what do you look for every single year in the woods mushroom wise that you want to eat and if you don't eat mushrooms why is it some taboo because of when you were a kid, a kid, you know, mom and dad wanted you to eat mushrooms? Have you ever tried them? Are you allergic to them? This is about mushrooms. But anyway, I'm going to get these home. I got about a, a good mile walk ahead of me with I don't even know how many pounds. Sending them most, mostly to the farm. I'm going to keep a, a few pounds myself. These are from pretty, pretty good mushrooms I think I will eat tonight. So anyway... Let's let's go home and dump these out and let's see exactly how many mushrooms we got. What a haul this turned out to be. I'm not even sure I can fit all these on the table actually. Uh oh, lost a couple. Oh, look what we found here. A water bottle. Now comes the fun part. I've got to get all the leaves and everything off of these mushrooms. Look at that nice lobster mushroom right here for you to look at. Uh oh, a little bit more on the ground too. Man, look at all those mushrooms. that one's some of them like this probably go in my compost pile other ones like this probably go right to my dinner table these are some pretty ones a lot of the smaller ones like these these will go in the pickling jars with special recipes that'll be really really good later well I really hope you guys enjoyed that video of picking chanterelle mushrooms in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. These are going to be so good to eat, let me tell you. Mm. save I better save some of these for myself eh? all right thanks a lot everybody for watching make sure to hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button hit that share button make a comment below again what is your favorite kind of mushroom or why don't you like mushrooms and uh, tell me what you know about this kind of mushroom lobster look it up have a great day everybody happy hunting